Richard Harris rose to international fame as a charismatic and versatile actor. But his personal life wasn't always rosy, and often his struggles offset were carried on to the film sets. This caused many co-stars to take issue with him while working. Richard Harris's Life and Career Richard Harris was born October 1, 1930, in Limerick, Ireland. He was the fifth of nine children in a middle-class family, his father a farmer and mother a homemaker. As a young student, he fell in love with acting and sports. While he initially considered becoming a rugby player, he eventually decided to pursue acting. After leaving school, Richard moved to London to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. He studied at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art and soon started making appearances in stage productions in Ireland and England. His early performances gained critical acclaim, and he quickly gained a reputation as a promising young talent. In 1958, Harris made his West End debut in the play The Queer Fellow by Brendan Behan. His portrayal of a condemned prisoner showcased his impressive acting abilities and set the stage for more significant opportunities. The following year, he made his film debut in the drama Alive and Kicking. However, it was in 1963 that Richard truly made his mark on the acting world with the film This Sporting Life. He played the role of a troubled and rebellious coal miner and rugby league player named Frank Matchin. Throughout the 60s and 70s, Harris delivered memorable performances in various films. In addition to his success in film, he also remained active in theater, starring in productions like The Lion in Winter and Henry IV. His stage work further solidified his reputation as a talented and respected actor in both the UK and the US. Harris's career saw highs and lows over the years, but he always managed to bounce back with remarkable resilience. His portrayal of Bull McCabe in the film The Field earned him another Academy Award nomination, proving his enduring talent and appeal. That same year, he had a small role in the film Unforgiven, which remains one of his best-known roles. He was also a gifted singer, possessing a deep and distinctive baritone voice. He released several albums, including A Tramp Shining and The Yard Went On Forever, which received positive reviews from music critics and showcased his range. He was married to Elizabeth Reese Williams from 1957 until their divorce in 1969. He then married Anne Turkle from 1974 to their divorce in 82. He had three children. Richard's Career Richard Harris graced the silver screen with a multitude of remarkable performances. Harris showcased his versatility in various films that left an incredible legacy. One of his most celebrated came early on with the film This Sporting Life. In this British drama, he played the role of Frank Matchin, a brooding and intense rugby league player who struggles with his personal demons while looking for success in his sporting career. In 1967, he took on the iconic role of King Arthur in Camelot. Directed by Joshua Logan, the film is based on the classic Broadway musical and showcases Harris's charismatic and regal presence. His portrayal of the legendary King Arthur, along with his powerful rendition of the song If Ever I Would Leave You, contributed to the film's success and garnered him a Golden Globe nomination. Richard continued to explore diverse and complex characters, including his role as Abraham in The Bible in the Beginning. He brought depth and humanity to the biblical figure, earning praise for his ability to infuse ancient characters with relatable emotions and struggles. In 1970, he delivered one of his most memorable performances in A Man Called Horse. In this Western drama, he played John Morgan, an English aristocrat captured by a Sioux tribe and forced to adapt to their way of life. His transformation from a disenchanted outsider to a revered warrior showcased his exceptional range as an actor and solidified the film's place as a cult classic. Another significant milestone was his portrayal of English poet and writer William Somerset Maugham in The Human Factor. His nuanced and introspective performance as a disillusioned British diplomat navigating Cold War politics earned critical acclaim and further exemplified his ability to embody complex characters. He made a lasting impact on the fantasy genre with his role as Aldous Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter films. His portrayal was cherished by fans of the beloved book series and introduced him to a new generation of admirers. He also left an indelible mark in the horror genre with his role as Richard, a man cursed by the devil in The Devil Rides Out. 
His commanding presence and convincing performance in this chilling tale of occult terror contributed to the film's cult status. In his later years, he continued to captivate audiences with his work in films such as The Field, where he played the fierce and determined Bull McCabe, earning his second Academy Award nomination. His role as Marcus Aurelius in the historical epic Gladiator brought him widespread acclaim and a posthumous nomination for Best Supporting Actor in the Academy Awards. Richard Harris's co-stars confirm why he was hard to work with. Richard Harris was undeniably gifted on the screen and must have been a consummate professional behind the scenes, right? Well, not always. He was often known for being difficult to work with, primarily due to his struggles with alcoholism and a quick temper. His larger-than-life personality, while charismatic and passionate, also led to clashes with co-workers and filmmakers. He was known to be a heavy drinker, and his battles with alcohol addiction were no secret in the entertainment industry. It was often reported that his penchant for alcohol often resulted in unpredictable behavior on set, which could lead to delays and tensions among cast and crew members. There were instances when his drinking affected his ability to remember his lines or maintain consistency in his performances. His fiery temper was another aspect that contributed to his reputation as a challenging co-worker. Harris was known for being fiercely passionate about his craft and often clashed with directors and producers over creative differences. He had strong convictions about how a character should be portrayed, and if he disagreed with the director's vision, he would voice his opinions loudly and sometimes abrasively. This strong-willed nature occasionally led to on-set conflicts and strained relationships with colleagues. His battles with alcoholism and his tempestuous nature were in part a reflection of deeper emotional complexities. The pressures of fame, the intensity of the film industry, and his personal struggles may have all played a role in shaping his behavior. As he matured, some of the rough edges of his personality began to soften, and he developed a more amicable working relationship with directors and colleagues. Ultimately, Richard Harris's career is a testament to his undeniable talent as an actor and the profound impact he had on the entertainment world. While he might have been challenging to work with at times, his passion for the craft, his iconic performances, and his larger-than-life presence continued to be celebrated and remembered by fans and fellow artists alike. His contributions to both British and American cinema remain an important part of his legacy. He was sometimes troubled in his personal life, but he dedicated his life to bringing us great performances. There was one point where he said he didn't really care much for leaving behind a legacy, but nevertheless, he'll always have a legacy that we'll never forget. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised to hear Richard Harris could be difficult to work with? Let us know in the comments section below.